what would you do with this space? And uh, here we have this odd little nook in the side of a house under some stairs. Listen, this tweet's obvious engagement bait. The replies are full of boring, normal people answers like in office or reading nook and other stuff that would actually make sense. The guy who posted this has Twitter blue, which means he gets $5 for every billion times as tweets get seen. His bio is advertising a $30 course on how to grow on X. It's absolutely ridiculous. By every metric, this should be the type of slop polluting our Twitter timelines these days that we all agree have made the website immeasurably worse. But in this one case, the Wise Connector made perhaps one of the best contributions to Twitter in the last week. He created a holy grail of poop post potential. It's too early in the video to say the curse word version of poop. Hi again, guys, and put the best trophy you own in that nook. That is, if you actually had one. Eh, that's a simple example, but it's honestly kind of a weak sauce joke. It's an ancient meme reference that appeals to the widest possible audience. No, the truly special ones here were quote tweets that broke containment. The things that, on their own merit of being silly, made it to my Twitter timeline and introduced me to the original post to begin with. It's a perfect location for a Chili's booth. That's peak, you might say. The meme format has already hit its ceiling, you yap. And I had a similar opinion when I was young and stupid like you. But believe me, there is levels to this shit. It's late enough in the video I can say that now. So won't you take my hand, come on this journey, and make the climb up the mountain with me? If you enjoy this vid, this card at the end will take you to another one like it, and less than 20% of y'all are subscribed with notifications on. If you sub and hit the bell icon, you'll never miss an upload, and you can always undo it later. So obviously, that tweet did blow up with a lot of people doing their own versions of it. A lot of people were adding their own stuff to this foreboding space, and we did get a lot of gold out of it. But when digging for gold, you gotta pick through a lot of boogers first. And these come in varying qualities. The lowest rung on the ladder is people just putting something they like in the corner. Giant Snoopy. It's a thought process of, I like this character, let me put that character in the corner of my house. It's very point A to point B type thinking. The funniness of those memes to me depended on how absurd of a thing it was, not just to place in that spot, but how generally absurd the thing in question was. Like Big Shadow the Hedgehog statue back when he used guns. Pretty good. And I respect that giant Snoopy one because that is just one piece of a larger, more encompassing bit that that user has ongoing at all times. Their account is dedicated to Snoopy. Making a post as simple as this is in character to do for their gimmick. It's diegetic. The next level up the ladder is people who actually make a connection in their minds, where the space wasn't just weird on its own, and instead it reminded a person of something also weird that they could make a reference to. A popular one was hide the enchantment table back there, where Hunter took the easy way out and just covered up the spot with a painting so he didn't have to edit the image as much, while other people with more commitment to the bit actually built out the entire enchantment room inside of this weird hole. Other examples of this are done better, and by that I mean it referenced something I know and like, therefore make making it automatically funnier, specifically Black Ops 2. This would be a money hill for sure, and the place got turned into a hard point capture location. <laughs> in case you didn't get it, please let me explain the joke. You see, hard point is a game mode where a set area on the map will have arrows showing where its borders are. The two teams must fight for control over the hard point, where if you have control of it, you get points the longer you keep it. And in game, these hard points are always put in weird, hard to defend positions to raise the stakes and promote dynamic and kinetic gameplay. That way, the team have to stay on their toes and their adrenaline's running high. Well, in theory at least, I usually just end up losing and breaking a monitor. Alternatively, this could be a place Treyarch would throw down a Pack-a-Punch machine on a COD Zombies map. If you didn't know, Pack-a-Punch machines are very important in the COD Zombies gameplay loop. Zombies come at you in waves, where each round they get progressively stronger. As the player, you must buy perks, abilities, and more powerful weapons with points you get from killing zombies to survive, all in order to keep up with the ever-growing, overwhelming odds. Pack-a-Punch is one of the most powerful tools you have in the game. It costs the most to take advantage of any viable thing in the game, and in return, it completely revamps your gun. Pack-a-Punch busts the damage of your weapon massively. It raises the amount of ammo it holds, and sometimes it even changes the way the gun functions completely. There's an assault rifle that got a shotgun put on the underbarrel when you pack-a-punched it one time. That's something that actually exists in real life, too. <laughs> a master key. Because of how important it is, pack-a-punch is purposefully placed to be out of the way and a challenge to get to, acting as a reward for the player after they go through the necessary tasks to unlock it. Can you tell most of my conversations growing up were on Xbox Live Party Chat? Now, the third and final level of memes made out of just this one image is when things get a little absurd themselves. I don't have as technical of a criteria for what defines these things, but I know it when I see it. I think the main connective tissue is that they made me laugh the hardest out of all of them. So even if they could fall into one of the previous categories, they made me giggle a lot. They transcend the ranking system and make it completely useless. Case in point, giant SD card. You see why 
why I can't just put something like that in a box. Well, well, I guess I can. The Nook is literally a perfectly shaped box to put it in, but I can't classify it neatly. The things in this section are all over the place. This dude with a profile picture of the Duolingo owl sticking its cheeks out. That's a real advertisement they dropped, by the way. I might have to do another Duolingo video. This one isn't in the script. They're just going hog wild on their Twitter account. It, anyways, that dude said, build a jail cell for the property, brothers. I don't like that I busted a gasket over this one. This is the equivalent of just putting your comfort character in the corner and calling it a day. The only extra effort is having bars placed on top of it to make it look like a cell. The Property Brothers are such a niche reference for most folks, but I see them in my head vividly. For some reason, people ship them as a bit, or at least I hope it's a bit. And the idea that they are a threat that must be locked up in a very specific suburban prison just gets me going. No idea why. Speaking of shipping, some people didn't think to use this weird hole in the wall for a bit, but as an unironic tool of expression. I found an account sincerely role-playing the perspectives of the Mandalorian and Bo-Katan from that TV show about what those two characters would do if they themselves were living there, were dating, and trying to actually figure out what to put in the nook. Din, honey, what do you think we should put here? A weapons rack, maybe? Gazing at her, completely in love. Whatever you want, Kyari. What? They're even using the made-up Star Wars fake language words. This guy's in too deep. This next one's just funny in nature. It's even not even really got a punchline. I'd store my dumb fucking orphan nephew who I hate there. 61,000 likes. I could never hope to do that on my Twitter account. In my space, straight up nook at it. And by it, <laughs> well, let's just say my cranny. There's a sound bit of me saying that forever now. Um, not that bad, honestly. I've definitely said way worse. Never ask me for my opinion on the attractiveness of various Five Nights at Freddy's animatronics, because I've already got a full video on that. This whole video could just be me going over a bunch of the shit people decided would be a good fit in this one nook. But the issue is, that wouldn't be comprehensive of the entire situation. The whole thing has deteriorated even further. Less than three days after this thing first dropped, it circled back into itself, becoming meta. The shit post Ouroboros. Wise Connector asks, what would you do with this space? What space? It's just a regular wall. Yeah, he's right. What is that wise guy even talking about? There's no space there. Guys, what are we even talking about in this video? What was I going on about for the last five minutes? Um, uh... The most interesting one was people bringing to our attention that this hole in the wall is not the only oddity of its kind. There are more places and houses that seem to defy design logic and make you wonder what asshole made the floor plan for the place. Perhaps you'll recall the useless ledge with no way to get to it that's above the main entrance of a lot of people in suburban American homes. Many veterans remember when this one in particular went around. And guess what? They were doing a version of this exact same meme we're discussing today. But it was the progenitor. It happened before. Found this random out-of-place ledge and just put random shit on top of it. References like, oh, this is where Gordon Freeman would find a hidden kit. Or they just put their favorite characters on it, like fucking somebody from RuPaul's Drag Race. We've been here before. We've done this exact bit and didn't realize... Well, uh, some people did, actually. I'm just a stupid person. There were versions of both, let's put the useless ledge inside the weird hole in the wall, and let's put the weird hole in the wall on top of the useless ledge. It kind of writes itself. I suppose that is the main issue here. People realized we've been here before. That this hole in the wall was not the first of its kind, and they started to see it wouldn't be the last either. People wanted to be the next person to produce an image of weird spaces like these. And so, probably hundreds or thousands of folks started analyzing every corner of their house like never before, all looking for some weird shaped room to call their own. Hell, I even checked my apartment, and I have one of those useless ledges people have no idea what to do with above my kitchen. But, lucky for me, I'm fucking awesome, and decided to put all my Legos on it. Some of these attempts, though, were fairly middling, and at one point, to make fun of people who were trying to get tips for interior design, some folks started getting even more ironic and posting weird spaces ironically. Some dude posted a picture of a hollowed-out computer case and asked what to do with the space. Then you have this hole that's getting better. I don't even know what this is from. I bet Kendra could put his Eiffel Tower penis in there. Fuck it for 24 hours, maybe? All that bashing aside from the ashes of the original post and those trying to jump on that ship, a few compelling candidates did emerge. We had a few examples of more, some might even say worse, completely useless spaces. Ones that are a literal parkour challenge to get to. Somebody showed a completed closet with no racks inside. It looks more like it would be a voice recording booth than in a house, and it actually reminded me of home a bit. See, if you're a long-time Quite viewer, you may remember that, like, half a decade ago, I don't like that I've been on YouTube 
YouTube that long, I used to be completely confined to a small blue box, where I was forced by a non-specific, incomprehensible entity to make daily commentary videos on Logan Paul or whoever the fuck's name in a title would make a video pop off. And while I'm happy to be free now, of course, I do have some nostalgia for those times. For a home and place that looked a lot like this finished closet. You know, that cosmic horror had surprisingly boring taste and the type of eternal prison it put me in. However, the one truly new stupid space in a house was this absolutely horrific narrow hole. Just a random gaping space in the, someone's hallway. Ugh. It was just squished between an empty bedroom and a bathroom. The, like, what? Why? This might even be worse than the originals. Like, the one nook in the wall obviously has utility as an office or kitchen area, like people were saying. The useless ledges we were talking about are generally used by people for decorative purposes to put stuff on, because they're in a very centrally visible location, so you can really display some character there, which is why mine is full of Legos. The, the best thing I can think of for this gaping maw in the house is that it was meant to be a closet for towels and shit. It just never had a door installed. Just one issue though, this hole is walk-in closet length. It has enough depth for you to strut inside of it, but it absolutely does not have the width of a walk-in closet. You'd feel like you're getting squeezed by the Death Star trash compactor in there. It would have just been more merciful to our eyes if they just put drywall over it and left it hollow, keeping us blissfully ignorant. So what the fuck on earth could this thing possibly be useful for? Well, thanks to this very trend, we actually solved this mystery. We figured out the exact utility something like this nook is good for. A giant Wii, obviously. That's gonna be all for this video. That card I mentioned should be on screen. Be sure to like and subscribe. Anyways, this has been Quite, and I am unironically inside your walls.